Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm cleaning up this block. I'm gonna take off all these parts in preparation to reseal this whole thing. Get it built up to go back into the truck eventually. But while I have it here, I do wanna do a quick product breakdown of the fleece coolant bypass. Originally, I knocked out this freeze plug. It bolts right up, and then that allows coolant to flow from the back of the engine to the front of it. There's all kinds of videos talking about why you'd wanna do it, the benefits of it, if it makes sense. I don't wanna talk about any of that. I'm simply talking about the product itself for anyone who's spec-oriented, wondering if you can modify it, all that stuff. So this is the unit itself. It is made out of aluminum, and the exiting fitting of what they have here is a dash 10 an and on the other side, it is a dash 10 O-ring boss. So this is how the unit comes, and then when you take off these three bolts, thermostat is sandwiched in between those. Very simple. The quality is extremely high, um, which is fleece. That's what they do is they manufacture extremely high quality stuff. And if you were wondering if you can open up this fitting, maybe to a dash 12 or anything, I doubt it because that thing is taking up all the real estate there. But you can see the machine work, very, very nice. You have one O-ring on the back side, top side of this thermostat. You have one underneath the thermostat for a second O-ring, and then you have a third O-ring going into the block itself. Something I haven't seen talked about online are the specs of the thermostat. If you go on Fleece's website, they sell a service kit, which I'll go into in a little bit. But if you wanted to buy this elsewhere, you don't really have anything unless you have one to compare it to. So to give you those specs, this is a 180 degree thermostat. And it even says right on it that it is 54 millimeters in diameter. So there, in the service kit, they feature two thermostats. I don't know why they did that in the design. 12 valve at least doesn't use this anywhere because the front of that engine on all 12 valves, it's going to use a 63 millimeter diameter uh, thermostat. So it's not like it used, it's used anywhere else, but design is simple. Thermostat goes in there, sandwiched in. The quality, the design, you can't beat it. And then go into the service kit. So they sell an O-ring kit and a service kit. The service kit does feature the O-rings, but I'm going to show you the difference. So in this bag, you got all the O-rings that you need. You have even extra bolts. So if something happened to the ones that go there, you have extra bolts now. And then it does come with the thermostats. And these are the differences. So when they sell this kit, they specifically say that you're only going to use one of these. And this is the same one. This one doesn't say USA like the one that came in the unit when I originally bought it. But the difference between these two in here is this has a flat seal. And that's what I'll be using. And then the other version uses a more rounded seal. From what I can see, they're exactly the same, both 180, both 54 millimeters in diameter. So I don't know why they designed it to have two different thermostats unless the other engines use this somewhere. I have no idea. But that's the product breakdown. Make it simple. Really good quality. That's it.